good thing that is who you are. Every 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 good thing that is what you've done. Every good thing that is who you are. 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 Every great thing that is who you are. Every great thing that is who you are. Every good 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 thing. Every good thing that is who you are. Every good thing that is who you are. Every good thing that is who you are. Every great 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 thing that is what you've done. Every great thing that is what you've done. Every great thing that is what you've done every great thing that is what you've done every great thing that is who you are every great thing that is who you, you Jesus. are we bless your name i bless and lift your name thank you jesus oh you blessed savior you are worthy of my praise there is none like you at the four corners of the earth you are the sunshine holy and worthy beautiful you are i bless and lift your name oh you blessed savior you are worthy of my praise there is none like you at the four corners of the earth you are the sunshine holy and worthy beautiful you are jesus you are savior you are healer you are excellent in your way oh my god Holy, what 
Daddy, and beautiful you are, Jesus you are, Savior you are, healer you are, excellent in your way, mighty you are, faithful you are. Holy and worthy and beautiful you are, Jesus you are, Savior you are, Healer you are. You are my Lord, excellent in your way, mighty you are, faithful you are, Jesus. Holy and worthy and beautiful you are. I bless and lift your name. Oh, you bless and Savior. You are worthy of my praise. There is none like you. At the four corners of the earth, you are the sunshine. Holy and worthy and beautiful you are, Jesus, Jesus you are, Savior you are, Healer you are, excellent in your ways, mighty you are, faithful you are, my God. Holy and, and worthy and beautiful, beautiful you are. We bless your name. Abala bala 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 bala. Reke deke deke de braga da suka na maya na mana kusho ko braga di ati gala gati gala gati gala. Ikala mana maya na mana. Braga kusho ko di braga di ati gala gati gede. Braga chula ya padas ya da. Ada la grana da la grana da la da 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 grana da. Ika fala mande la la si ala mo si ya gara ba. Ele 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 ya la 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. We worship you. Yes, Lord. Oh, da -ba -da -ba. we worship you, oh God. Jesus. We worship you, oh God. We cannot see you, but, but we, we see, see you. all your wonders. We worship you, oh God. We cannot see you. But we see all your wonders. We worship you, oh God. We cannot see you, but we see all your wonders. We worship you, oh God. We worship you, oh God. We worship you, oh God. We cannot see you, but we see all your wonders. We worship you, oh God. We cannot see you, but we see all your wonders. We worship you, oh God. We cannot see you, but we see all your wonders. We worship you, oh God. Oh, Batauri, Tauri Shawaare, we want the Shawaare. Oh, Batauri, Tauri Shawaare, Oshubare. Oh, Batauri, Tauri, Tauri Shawaare. Thank you in Jesus' name we worship. Thank Amen. you. Amen. 
Okay, we are going to round up what we started some days ago in 2 Samuel chapter 9. We, we, we focus on verse 3. All this while praying against the spirit of the third voice. And I did explain to us two days ago what the spirit of the third voice stands for. And we also took a prayer yesterday that anyone using their proximity to me to cause me pain, Lord, judge them speedily. We also pray that God will touch our helpers and great people to remember and favor us. But today there's something I want us to see. It can be found in 2 Samuel 9, verse 1, verse 3, verse 7. But verse 3 um, also opens up a particular word and phrase that I want us to pray with. David said, is there anyone left in the house of Saul that I may show the kindness of the Lord? The kindness of the Lord. That's in verse 3. And in verse 7, he also said, I'll show your kindness. But verse 3 said, that I may show the kindness of God. There is something called the kindness of God. There is something called the kindness of God. That comes upon a man's life. It begins to enjoy common kindness. To, be, to experience kindness means to be loved, to be, to be attended to, to be desired, to be appreciated. There's an anointing that comes upon a man that he becomes uncommonly appreciated. In the midst of a very disastrous and conflicting climatic environment, chaotic environment, it can be loved. It can be loved. You know what David said concerning kindness, that God will show me kindness in Psalm 31, 21, in a strong city. In a strong city. In a strong city. Psalm 31, 21. In a strong city. Behold, blessed be the Lord, he has shown me his marvelous kindness. In a strong, it doesn't matter the, 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 the location. No matter how chaotic, rather, the climate is. You can enjoy kindness of God. You can enjoy uncommon kindness. In Isaiah 54 verse 10, he said, Though the mountains depart and the hills be removed, my kindness will not depart from thee, nor my covenant of mercy. Though the mountains depart, the hills be removed, but my kindness will not depart from you, nor my covenant of peace rather be removed. Say the Lord God that had mercy on thee. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a kindness that a man can experience. If you study your Bible in 1 Samuel 24, I believe verse 10, when God Almighty moved and impressed in the heart of Jonathan. Jonathan. In the heart of Jonathan. And Jonathan looked at David and said to David, I will show you kindness. I will show you kindness. If you imagine what God wants to do in Ruth chapter 2, when Ruth stumbled into Boaz and came back and told Naomi, I met a man today. And Ruth was like, who was that? He said, I just met a man and mentioned all the descriptions of the man and all of this. Ah, the Lord has shown us kindness. We have seen kindness. That person you saw is a king's married demon. The kindness of God is that will make you stumble and meet the right people. Hallelujah. Amen. You meet the right people when you enjoy the kindness of God. He said that I may show the kindness of the Lord. The king said, is there not anyone in the house of Saul that I may show the kindness of God unto him? The kindness of God. The kindness of God. The kindness of God. The kindness of God is what somebody is going to experience after now. Amen. Amen. You will experience uncommon kindness of God. Amen. Kindness that only God gives. Amen. Kindness from the throne of grace. Amen. Kindness. First Samuel 2014. And if you read Genesis 40:14. David and Jonathan's expression of kindness was in 1 Samuel 20, 14. And yet, shall thou not, while I yet, yet I live, show me the kindness of the Lord, that I die not. Kindness is a preserver. Kindness is a preserver. Jonathan knew, Jonathan was the heir apparent to the throne. 
He was ready to fulfill the throne for David. Kindness is when people give you what they are entitled to. Kindness is when people prefer you. To express kindness to be preferred. In Genesis chapter 40 and verse 14, after David Joseph interpreted the dream for the baker and the butler, he said to the butler, Mention my name to Pharaoh. Show me kindness. Bring me out of this place. To enjoy kindness is for you to be mentioned before helpers. Amen. Kindness. Oh Lord. The anointing to experience kindness. The anointing to experience the kindness of God fall upon me. Amen. Amen. The kindness of God is when people start mentioning you, mention your craft, mention your job, mention your career. You are working somewhere, somebody becomes obsessed in seeing that you get a better job. You're already engaged somewhere, working. And you're almost feeling comfortable and somebody's going about saying, no, 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 no. There is something better you can do. And it's mentioning you before people. That shall be your portion. Amen. Amen. The kindness of God. In Genesis 39, verse 21, he says, And the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor before the sight of the keeper of the prison. And gave him favor before the sight, the sight of the keeper. That's the kindness of God. Before the keeper of the prison. Joseph, you see, if you read Genesis 35, 39, from verse 5 and 6, the Bible says that all, all, it came to pass that from that time he made him overseer in his house. <laughs> He made him overseer. Joseph was a GO. Was a general overseer of Potiphar's house. General overseer of Potiphar's house. It came to pass that from that time he had made him overseer in his house. And over all that he had. That the Lord blessed him. Okay, from the time he had made him overseer. Over his house and over all that he had. That the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was upon oh. all that he had in his house and in the feet. Look at verse 6. He left all that he had in Joseph's hand. He knew not what he had. The man didn't know his wealth. He didn't know his pro property. Inadvertently, what that would mean today in our modern world means that Joseph kept all the receipts of everything that Potiphar acquired. Joseph was keeping them in trust for him. Save the bread that which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly man, well favored. To enjoy kindness is when people can practically trust their life, their well with her, their wealth, and put it in your hands. That's what it means to enjoy and experience the kindness of God. The anointing required to experience the kindness of God fall upon me. Amen. The anointing, evil men, people that are bad, look at that prison. They kept him in prison. They favored him. We knew that Potiphar was not much of a decent man when just hearing one side of, a, of, of an allegation, he threw Joseph in prison. That's why we knew that this guy was not, Joseph never found favor because Potiphar was kind, was naturally nice rather. But Joseph extracted kindness from an evil man. He extracted it. In Acts 28 verse 2, the Bible says that the barbarian people showed us no little kindness. They showed us extra kindness. They received every one of us because of the present rain and the cold. Barbarian people, people that are heartless. So you can extract kindness. From even the hardened soul. And that is why we have to pray today. The anointing required. To experience the kindness of God. You will type this on your hand though. Henceforth I shall experience kindness. Amen. Amen. Henceforth I shall experience kindness. Amen. Henceforth I shall experience kindness. Amen. Type it on your hand though. And hashtag wonders without number. Your handle, your Facebook, your IG, your WhatsApp story, your YouTube. Just type it. As fault, I shall experience kindness. Amen. Amen. Do that very well. As fault, I shall experience kindness. Amen. Amen. The anointing required 
We're going to say this seven times before we pray. Henceforth, I shall experience kind of type it out and let it become a prophecy for your life. Henceforth, I shall experience kindness. We're going to say that seven times. Henceforth, I shall experience kindness. Amen. 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 We're going to say that seven times. Henceforth, I shall experience kindness. Amen. Number one. Henceforth, I shall experience kindness. Number two. Henceforth, I shall experience kindness. Number three. Henceforth, I shall experience in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I begin to pray. As I begin to pray, anointing required to experience the kindness of God. To experience the kindness of God upon me. The anointing required. Anointing required. To experience the kindness of God. To experience the kindness of Dieu. The anointing required. The anointing required. To experience the kindness of God. To experience the kindness of God. Fall upon me. Fall upon me. The anointing required. The anointing required. To experience the kindness of God. To experience the kindness of God. Fall upon me. Fall upon me. The anointing required. The anointing required. The anointing required. The anointing required. Anointing required. The anointing required. To experience the kindness of God. To experience the kindness of God. Fall upon me. Fall upon me. The anointing required. 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 To experience the kindness of God. To experience the kindness of God. Fall upon me. Fall upon me. Your mouth and fire prayer. Shout out. 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 Oh, <laughs> 